UiPath path has got two design experiences one is the classic and the other is the modern design experience as an rpa developer we should know both the experiences how to use what in this playlist we are covering the classic versus the modern design in a step-by-step -step manner where we are focusing more on the modern design in the previous videos of the playlist we have covered already all of these topics in case you are absolutely new to modern design and you want to get started you can refer to the playlist and get started today in this video we are going to talk about the table extraction in the modern design experience if i talk of the agenda this is going to be our agenda for today what is table extraction how do you add a new column how can we extract the url and the image sources once the data is extracted can i delete an extracted column how can you edit the individual column settings can i change the input methods if i have to work on multiple pages and the page limit how can we do that and lastly we are also going to see that how we can edit the extracted data right and all of this we are going to see by a step by step demonstration at any point of time if you want to jump to a specific topic you can always use the timestamp which is available in the video description and the video should navigate to that exact point having said that let's get started with the first topic which is what is a table extraction right so first of all before directly jumping to what exactly is a table extraction it is important for us to know what exactly is a table so whenever i have a data which is available in the form of rows and column i call it as a table or also known as the structured data right it can be in a table it can be in a website where the data is in proper blocks or i would say proper rows and column and with an automation i want to extract it it is called a table extraction now in UiPath, table extraction is a modern design feature which enable you to extract the structured data, right? This is important, which enable you to extract the structured data. When I say structured, the template or the way the data is structured is exactly the same. If the first row has three columns, the second row also has three columns. The third row also has three columns, right? And since it is a table, the output always would be a data table object right same like whenever we read excel we get a data table here also in the table extraction you get a data table okay so where exactly can i use this in my automation process for example if i have to extract data from invoice receipts document websites and then i have to put the data into a website a spreadsheet database i can use this feature of table extraction wherever you want to extract the data this can save by reducing the error which can be done via manual data copy paste entry the second thing is the web scraping where you have a data which is in a website a social media platform maybe linkedin or some shopping website amazon flipkart some forums like uipath forum you want to extract all that information and put it in some location maybe excel database data table for your analysis and marketing research you can use something which is called table extraction okay you can also use it to extract the financial report sales data other business related documents for creating dashboards and report okay so this is all about the table extraction now if i talk about technically we can extract the table extraction via the recorder or the table extractor is also available with this activity which is called extract table data let me show both of them that how you can access it in uipath studio right so the thing which you need to take from this slide is that whenever we have a data which is in a structured format it can be in the website documents anywhere i can use something which is called table extraction wizard in the uipath modern design okay so now let me go back to my uipath studio and show where exactly this is located okay so i am back into my uipath studio at the top now i hope you guys are able to look at that yes i am in the modern design experience right so at the top you see something which we have which is called the table extraction i can click on this button and 
that opens something which is called a table extraction now this is the guy which is actually available with us where we can extract the data from a structured page right now let's take an example so for example i go to a website which is this right so this is nothing but our youtube playlist i'll just keep it aside now you can see here i can say that this is a structured data now you might be thinking right mukesh there is no data there is no table how can you say that this is a structured data i can say that because if you see the structure right first we have the name of the video then we have how many views and then we have when it was actually uploaded if i go it to all the way to the other videos you can see that yes here also we have the name the views and when it was uploaded also we have the channel name right so if you see this is exactly in the same format and all of this i can say it as structured data right the other example of structured data could be let's say any shopping website so if i go to amazon you can see here whenever the products are listed let's talk about uh, let me just search here something laptops okay and you can see that this is again in a structured we have the name we have the price we have the ratings uh, we have some when can i get it right and then an image so all of this is again in a form of a structured data now let's try to define a use case and extract some of the information from the youtube page right so i just changed the theme uh, so that we are able to see it right so as you can see here this is a structured data and let's say i am interested to extract all of this information uh, the title uh, how many views and when it was uploaded right so it can be any website it can be any of your enterprise application so this is youtube so everybody would have access so you can practice along with me as well okay so uh, we have to extract the data right so if i go to my uipath studio again and let me click on this guy which is called the table extraction okay it shows me this wizard okay and the good part if you try to compare this with the classic one you would notice that the modern one is also giving you some instruction where the classic one has the limited information and at the end of this video you would also notice that the modern one has got a lot of features right so if you see here this says that to get started click add new column to get started you can click on the small arrow and this shows the description as well right so what it is telling me it is telling me that mukesh go ahead and click on add new column so i can go here and i click on this button which says add new column which simply means that provide me the column which you want to extract right and if i hover my mouse now you can see that it is able to identify the individual elements on the screen right for some of you your automation might not be able to identify the elements on the screen like this right and the other thing you see here is that i am working this in an incognito mode this is a private mode at the top right so that means that i have enabled my ui path extension and i have enabled the ui path extension to work in the incognito mode as well okay so two things you need to remember first of all whenever you want to interact with any browser with ui path studio the ui path extension has to be installed on the browser and in case you are doing some automation in incognito or a private mode then also that has to be configured in case you do not understand how do you configure the extension and in incognito mode i have this dedicated video where we are explaining all these thing in a step by step manner right so i have put the link in the description for your reference right in case you are able to select this all you have to do is just go here and select which data you want to extract so i go here and i select on this one which is this guy okay as soon as i click on it ui path is able to understand that yes there is some text and there is also a url which is available with this right so let's say for now i am only interested to get the text so i go here and i click on this button which is extract the text right you want to extract the url you can click on that as well right so i go here and i say i want to extract the text when there is no url it will don't it, you will not have this option of url but as we understand that it's a youtube if i click on that it will go to that actual video so that why it has the url so to confirm i'll just go here and i say extract the text and what happens 
if you see a kind of a pattern is created by ui path and it understand that yes you are trying to extract a table and i can see that yes there are a lot of similar patterns which are available and you can just scroll down and it highlights that yes i am going to extract this information now just focus on this wizard which is table extraction whenever you select any of the columns here some things happen first of all here this 10 shows that the current screen has 10 pages which you want to extract and it is asking you that what is the column name if you leave it blank it would be available as new column name but in case you want it in to put into some database in excel you want to have it as a proper name so you can specify the column name here that i want to have the final output as video name right so it is giving me that yes this would have the video name and you can hover your mouse and it shows that what exactly would be having in that video name you can able to see here right pretty interesting right and this 10 indicates that we are able to get the 10 elements from this data okay so once everything looks good if you want to delete it is not capturing properly you can delete this and if it looks good you can just go here and click on this button which says confirm okay so that creates this now let's say i want to extract additional information right so you might have guessed it correctly it shows that click add new column to extract more data right if the data is on multiple pages enable the extract data from multiple pages which is this right so pretty handy instruction i want to add a new column so i say add new column okay and let's say i am interested in the views as well so i click on this and now ui path should automatically create the pattern the pattern is created right it's 10 and then the same thing what do you want to call them i want to call them as views okay i'll say confirm right and i want to see when it was uploaded so i say add new column and then I say I want to extract this which is four months ago okay and I'll call this as maybe time and I would say confirm so that way I have extracted all of this information right if I scroll down do my data is available in multiple pages the answer is no but we'll see one example where the data is multiple pages but as of now we don't have so all we can do is we can say save and close but there is one other option here you can click on this i button which is the preview click on that and it is going to show you that this is how i am going to give you the data when you will put it into an excel and the good part is if you don't want to run this automation and you just want to have it for yourself as an output you can just click here which is export as csv and that data would be directly available for you in a csv without even running the automation isn't it a good feature right let's say you want to extract some of the data for your other things right let's say email or something right not for an automation you can just come here extract the data export as csv and you are done right you can close this and you still have the csv right so for now we just want to run this automation so i'll go here and i'll say save and close and that's it right now an important thing to remember whenever i use the table extraction if you see the activity which was created was extract data table right and the output is a data table variable which is extract data table okay i can go to the variables and here you can see it is extract data table new system data dot data table is created now if i want to test this right let me go to the activities and i'll drag and drop a right range activity right range workbook right and let's try to print this in an excel right so i'll create an excel called data dot xlsx what should be the sheet name the sheet name is uh, mukesh data right from my channel what is the data table extract data table pass it here right so i have used the workbook read range because i want to have it in the background right so this is an excel activity activity excel automation activity guys in case you don't understand excel automation we have 
full fledged dedicated playlist explaining all of this in a step by step manner right i'll put that video links also in description right so now once this is completed all i have to do is just go here and i will say run the file okay so what would happen in the background the robot will go it will connect to this one use application slash browser right that's the first activity for the modern design it will extract the information and it will simply dump that data into a excel right so as of now i'm putting in an excel you have the data table you can read the data table put it in an email put it in a database put it into some other application automation completed let's go to project i'll hit a quick refresh data.xlsx is created let me open that and you can see whatever data we have got is now available in the excel for me right i can close this and you might be thinking mukesh why you don't have the header here that is because because can anybody tell me why i don't get header right i'll give you 5 seconds to co just comment that why my output didn't had header right 5 4 3 two and one because in my output i didn't check this guy which is called add headers right so that's why i didn't get the header right now what else i can do with this activity right the first thing is let's say you have already extracted the data right at any point of time if you want to redo the extraction right you can just click on these three buttons and here you have this thing which is called the extract data wizard if i click on that and that should open the same window again right to do the new extraction right but let's say you have a requirement where you want to edit the existing one right i'll cancel this you can again click on this three dots and you have this guy which is called the edit the extracted data and the same window which we confirmed will again reappear into my designer for us to do all the manipulations right now here i want to show you something right when i was creating and you know when we are talking about the use case we talked about the url but we didn't had the chance to get the url here because i only selected the name but with the modern design you have an option which allows you to get this information here whenever you keep your mouse on the extracted information you will see this kind of button which is enabled if they have this feature right if they have images and all so i can click on this button see the small one extract the url and now i can click on this one which is extract url and it is now extracting the url and it has also given the field name as video name url right you have the option to customize it here something like this but the idea is you can always extract the information even if you didn't select it during the first time but you always has an option to edit it right the same option is again applicable i can click on this preview button and you can see now that the url is also extracted right you can export as csv all still the same option right at any point of time if you don't want any of the data let's say i do not want the views i can come here and i can say delete and that is as easy easy and that's how easy it is to delete or add the column into the extracted data right if this you are finding kind of a disturbing that i don't want to see here you can click on this stop button toggle this off and your path is not going to show you that where this information is coming if you want to again see it click on this button and you should be able to see that as well right so that's how easy it is right now for some of the data where the data is extracted into multiple pages you can use this option that i'll show in the second use case but this option is also available for you one more thing which you guys should know here is that you have this small button here you see here this setting button we talk about this we talk about the delete then there is this setting button which is available here where you can actually edit the individual column settings now which means that tomorrow you don't want to have this as a video name you can change it the best option which i like about the modern design is you can parse the data 
so for example if i read some of the data as a date time and now when i am putting it as a data table i want it to be available as a text or i want it to be visible as a number you can actually use this data which is called the parse data option which allows you to put the data into the data table as text number or date time directly during the extraction only you do not have to put the data into the data table then run a loop and extract while putting the data only you can do this manipulation the other good thing is you can also sort the data by ascending or descending right let's say i want to have this data in a descending mode i say save and close right and now if i say preview you would notice that the data now is available in a descending mode 9 at the top 9876543321 right so that means at the run time only you can defi define a lot of settings column name is definitely there parse the data and the option as sorting pretty helpful feature when you want to do some kind of reporting right let's say you want to send a report to someone and which says that hey i want to extract this information but i want it in a descending or an ascending mode i can go here and i can say none if i set to none it will be by default set to the order which is if i set to ascending save and close i can say preview and it is again showing in that manner right now some of you might be thinking that mukesh why the 10th video is not coming here right so this is ascending and descending on the video name right it's on the video name so one and then this is 10 here right so one and then one and then the two right so it's not on the number it's on the name and this one is inside included in the name right so that's why please don't get confused that why it is coming one and then 10 right because if you order it by text so one and then one and then two three four five things like so but the idea is you can just go here and do it and that's applicable for all the other field as well right and wherever you have the url you can again click on this and we already extracted so it's not showing right so you can delete and update that as well right this feature was missing in the classic design experience okay let me show you one more interesting thing on the top of the extraction wizard you have this setting button okay if you click on that setting button you have this option here which talks about how many values you want to extract so as of now my web page has only 10 data so let's say tomorrow this increases and we have 1000 but i'm only interested in getting let's say 15 records 20 record 30 records right i can just come here and i can set this number to no limit that will extract everything max ui elements 1000 like this or the other option which the modern design gives you is how many pages you want to extract so let's say your data is uh, spanned across 1000 pages and you want data only for the 10 pages irrespective of the number of count of the elements you can do that here so no limit max ui elements exactly the same thing which you have in the classic design right you can specify here the new thing which is here is the max pages how many pages you want to extract and if you set to, to no limit it will extract everything whichever is available right pretty handy feature when you are not sure that how many items would be there on my one page right and this setting is available directly in the extraction wizard for you so i can say to no limit i'll say save and close and this option is available for you right at any point of time if you want to get some help on this you can click on this question mark button and that will navigate you to cloud dot sorry uh, docs.uipart.com and it should open the table extraction and this will give you the complete documentation details on whatever we are covering in this video right so once that is done all you can do is just go here and i say save and close and that should update your extraction right so this is one way of doing the table extraction where the data was structured but the table format was not able to set right now let me go to one more website 
and let me show you something interesting right sometime when the data is available as let's say structured data right and there is a table which is embedded in the web page or any application this extractor will be able to extract this complete information at once you don't have to do anything at all right so let's say this one this is a table right and let's say i want to extract all of this information okay so i'll minimize this i'll go again select the table extraction exactly the same thing add new column and uh, let me point it back to that one right because from my uipath studio i have clicked i'll cancel this sorry because from my uipath studio i have clicked on the use application slash browser which is already tagged to that url and then i am going to say table extraction right so every time whenever you do this this tightens the scope so that you do not are able to include new things right this kind of make sure that the application do not interact with any other page right if you want to do new just click outside somewhere and then come to the table extraction then i'd say add new column and then it should work right so let's say i want to extract this information as soon as i click on it any of the element let's say this or any anyway for that matter right this guy is rendered as a table so ui path modern design is able to understand that yes mukesh you are trying to extract the all the table do you like to do that if you say no then you can do the same old way but if i say would you like to extract all the table i say yes and that complete table is extracted for you actions action url wid all of that is available and extracted right you can click on this button preview and you can see all of that available here let's say i am not uh, so much interested in getting this action url so i can go here and i say that i don't want this action url that again depends on you what do you want what do you don't want right we talked about something with the data is spanned across multiple pages in this use case you can see that the data is spanned across multiple pages extract data from multiple pages i say yes and next button indicating and then you have to just point it to the next button which is this and that's it right it says that hey i have got six column 10 rows in the first i have got the next button and then you can specify the setting how many data you want you can set it to pages let's say i only want the data from three pages you can say three so it will only go to one to three but let's say you want to data from all the pages i can say it to no limit i can say preview the data it will show me the data from the first page right export the csv once everything done i can say save and close right so now what i have instructed ui path specifically this one is that you go and you extract all the information from this thing okay i can delete the previous one and now i want to simply write this data to a excel so let's go here i say write range activity i'll call this as uh, data underscore acme the sheet name would be acme sheet maybe right and the data table would be nothing but the extract data table right i'll not do the mistake again i'll go to the properties and i'll mark the add headers to on right now what should happen this will extract this complete information and put this into an excel here right now i don't have i have specified that i want to get the data from all these pages right let's see that in action so i'll go here and i'll say run the file okay so the automation should start okay and uh, it should extract the data from all the pages see you can keep your eye on the url where it is changing from 2 3 extracting to page number 4 page number 5 page number 6 7 8 9 10 10 right so i have not specified so i have made it to max so it will extract all the information right and you do not have to tell it when to stop it automatically stops okay once that is done 
we have instructed it to write the data back to an excel file and there we can just validate the data right the last record here i can see is uh, 9566396 right so if this is the last record in our excel i can surely say that yes the automation ran successful right so this is the 10th page the robot is still running this green indicates that your robot is running right we'll just wait okay so ah okay so if the automation break it says that your empty extension is not supported yeah so it says that mukesh how would i know what is data acme right so data acme dot excel sx right it should be dot excel sx right we need to provide the complete url right so i forgot to provide this okay so i'll again just go to the first page okay and i'll just run the file again right so important thing right whenever you are passing the name or the path of the excel the right range activity actually expect you the complete path of the excel so the last time i did not provided the extension right so that's why uipath studio says that hey you don't provide the name of the extension how do i know whether the right range has to create an xls file a csv file or what kind of file should i create right so that's also required whenever you try to put the name of the excel you need to provide the extension as well right i re-triggered the automation and now this time it should extract all this information and put it in the data table and then again put the same data table into the excel file okay we'll just wait for the robot to again complete hopefully this time we should be able to get it right let me again validate the last record it is uh six six three nine double six okay so hopefully it should be writing the data back to the excel we have marked the header as well okay this completed now let me go to the project hit a quick refresh data acme is available let's open the excel and here we can see that this time we have got the header all the information extracted and the last record was nine double six right which is the same record which we have in the browser as well right so that means that my extraction work completely as expected right so this entirely depends on what how the data is rendered right if it is a table uipath would be directly able to extract the table otherwise you can do it as i did in the previous one okay so let me just go back so we have seen what exactly is a table extraction the definition right you have this option which is called add new column where you can select the column refine the column right at any point of time if you want to pause you can just use this button which is the stop selection the shortcut here is f2 right to pause anything this is also useful whenever you want to let's say get some of the data which is hidden or hover right or which is inside some sub menu right you want to open the sub menu you can use this guy okay the next thing we saw here was that extract url in the image at any point of time if you have done the thing and now you want to get the url you can click on this button extract url and that should give you the additional information which, which you forgot to extract at the initial right at any point of time if you want to delete you can just use this option and delete this column right that also we have seen in practicals edit individual column right pretty interesting pretty handy feature where you can change this you can parse the data and the good part was you can sort it right now a thing which i want you guys to try is whenever you extract some data and that data is a date time you see here you have this option where you can say parse the data as date time and then you have an option to provide the format also for the date time that means that if i want the data to be mmddy why i can change the directly the data here right so you don't have to write any additional logic and that would be applicable when you have the data which is available in a date time format you directly come here parse the data to the date time and you will get an option to 
change the formatting as well directly here right how cool is that right and then you can also do the ascending and descending sort right please try this option and let me know if you are able to get this date time parsing option right this i'll give you as an assignment the next one how do you uh, get data from multiple pages right you just have to get this option which is extract data from multiple pages select the next button and you should be able to extract right and then we have seen that at the top we have a setting button where you can set the limits it is by default set to no limit you can change it to max pages or max rows right and with this eye icon it actually shows that from where i am extracting the data right just to give you a preview right so this option is also available for you how to get the multiple pages and the page limit okay now this also we have seen at any point of time once the data is extracted you can always come here you can use the edit data extraction wizard and that will open the wizard for you to again extract the information right so you don't have to every time again open a new data scraping and then do that right you can just come to the existing one edit it and rectify the changes so that's all about the table extraction which you wanted to cover right let's have a quick recap right so table extraction provide a powerful tool for extracting the information whenever it is in a structured way you have an option which is add new column you can extract the text url even after it is extracted you can edit individual columns by delete option parsing the data sorting sample after parsing all of that is available for you right you can extract data from multiple pages by toggling that small button on and off and then when you are done you have an option in the setting which allow you to have maximum pages maximum rows by default set to no limit right okay so that is all for this video i would like to wrap this video here i hope this was insightful if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.